Julius Randle is on his way to the New Orleans Pelicans. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course. Some NBA bringing you guys more NBA free agency news as we have more NBA free agency news, of course, with Julius Randle agreeing to a two-year deal with the New Orleans Pelicans. It's a two-year deal worth about $18 million. So you can do the math here, $9 million a year for Julius Randle. So here to break down this deal from both the Pelican side of things and Julius Randle side of things and to see if it's a good fit or not. But right off the bat, can I just say we're going back on Lakers watch here. What does this mean? I mean, folks, the story just writes itself at this point. What have I been saying? DeMarcus Cousins is going to go to the Lakers. He's going to sign with the Lakers. And now with the Pelicans signing Julius Randle, clearly there's a log jam there at their big spots. You got AD. You got Randle now. You have Nikola Miritic. There is no room for DeMarcus Cousins. He is not going to be coming back to the Pelicans. You can book that, okay? So now he needs to go to a different team. And that team is, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers. So I am predicting DeMarcus Cousins is going to sign with the Lakers for about a one-year deal. Maybe a one plus one, two years at the most. But it's going to be a one-year deal type of prove-it type of deal where DeMarcus Cousins, who's coming off that Achilles injury, is going to have to take a discount because of that reason. Okay, so with that being said, though, let's talk about the Julius Randle fit. Now, he got renounced by the Lakers because he needed clear cap space to sign Boogie and maybe trade for Kawhi and whatnot we'll see but they needed clear cap space to sign guys like Rondo that they signed and when it became clear that they got LeBron James I knew Randall was as good as gone because his salary cap number was going to be too big of a hit for the Lakers and their salary cap aspirations so they needed to renounce him and once you renounce a free agent he becomes unrestricted he can sign with anybody and Julius Randall was basically shown the door and even if they had wanted him to stay he was not going to because he saw that his role might be a very different next season okay so now he joins the Pelicans and folks I gotta be honest with you I really like this fit for the Pelicans I don't like this contract for Julius Randle, just a two-year deal, but I like the fit for the Pelicans. Folks, a lot of people forget Julius Randle played all 82 games last year, averaged about 16 points a game, 8 rebounds a game, um, 2.6 assists. He really was a monster down the stretch last season, took a huge leap, and he was just a prolific rebounder and a score and a presence on the inside, okay? I had made the notion that if LeBron James did not come to the Lakers, if he did not agree to join the Lakers, they should keep their core of Randall, Ingram, Kuzma, Lonzo Ball, etc., etc., Josh Hart. But that was the only exception was LeBron James coming. So, in fact, he did come. So, that means I really liked Julius Randall. And I would have liked the Lakers to keep him if they did not sign LeBron James. But, of course, with the salary cap, you are not able to keep him. So, he had to go, and that's fine because the Pelicans uh, are getting a great player here. He's just 23 years old, folks. Julius Randle's just 23, 80's 25. You've got Drew Holiday, who's just 28. You got Nico over there, so they're building their nice core uh, over there. We knew that the Boogie AD uh, sort of mix was, uh, you know, on and off, iffy at best, and we didn't know if that long-term fit was there. Now you got a guy like Randle who can grow with AD and. You still have that post presence in the inside. The Pelicans are going to play inside out ball. But Julius Randle could develop a jump shot. He's still very young. He could still become a, a, a shooting big, if you will, as well. So I see a bright future for the Pelicans, who now have lost Rondo and have lost DeMarcus Cousins. I believe they will lose him. But they're heading in a younger direction, which is going to be better for their future because maybe by the time these guys are ready to contend, the Warriors will be on the decline. So... Overall, solid uh, signing for the New Orleans Pelicans. For Julius Randle, I'm surprised he was only able to get $9 million a year. Um, the market is tough right now, obviously, because a lot of teams overspent the past couple of seasons. But I thought Julius Randle easily should have been able to get double-digit dollars on the market, 10 plus million. I was even thinking maybe like 14, 15 million. And he took a shorter deal, so why not maybe just take a one-year deal if you want to enter the market again next season so I'm not sure about that maybe there's a player option on it let me double check but with that being said I'm not a big fan of the deal from Julius Randle's side of things I think his agent could have done a better job but for the Pelicans I really like this deal let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below if you guys agree with me disagree make sure to subscribe thanks for watching